So guys, I've already filled in my eyebrows and I'm going to start off by priming my lids with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and this is just the original shade. Now with my MAC 239 I'm going in with Retro Spec which is a beautiful gold colour and adding that to the whole eyelid and packing it on with a couple of layers so it's nice and intense. Taking my Sigma E45 and Sketch Eyeshadow by MAC, I'm adding that to the outer V of my eye just to give it some more dimension. Using my Sigma E40 fluffy brush, I'm adding Faint Eyeshadow by Urban Decay into the um, crease of my eye as a really gorgeous transition colour. To line my eye I'm using the L'Oreal Super Liner in Perfect Slim as the brush and using actually the Maybelline Gel Eyeliner to actually line my eye. Now this doesn't have to be neat because we're going to smudge it all out in a bit. With my Real Techniques Angled Brush and Crave Eyeshadow by Urban Decay I'm going to be smudging out that top eyeliner to give it a really smoky effect. With that same eyeshadow with the Sigma E45, I'm adding that to the outer V to give it some more dimension. To make the gold more intense, I'm going back with a retrospect and adding that onto the centre of my eyelid. And then going back with Crave just to intensify the eyeliner a little bit more. With the Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush, I'm using Amber Diamonds to highlight my brow bone. Now time to tight line my eye and I'm using Perversion by Urban Decay. For mascara, I'm using one of my favourite drugstore brands which is the False Lash Telescopic Mascara by L'Oreal. For my lower waterline, I'm lining my eyes with a brown colour by Rimmel. I also added some fake lashes because Deepa Girl is wearing some gorgeous false lashes at the Eye for Awards and these are the Eyelures in the number 100. Using the same gel eyeliner method, I am just covering up any kind of small gaps that I see in my eyelashes. This is one of my favourite combos and it's the NARS Show Glow Foundation in Santa Fe and the Beauty Blender and I am blending all the foundation into my skin. Honestly guys, the Beauty Blender is so good. I absolutely love putting my foundation on with this. For concealer, I used a combination of Collection 2000's Lasting Perfection Concealer and Beachy's Dermaburn Concealer in the shade 12. I popped this on underneath my eyes and any other areas that I felt that I needed some more coverage. And again, I'm using the pointy side of the Beauty Blender to blend that all into my skin so, so effortlessly. My lower lash line, I'm going in again with Sketch Eyeshadow by MAC and the Angled Real Techniques brush. I'm making sure that I'm not adding too much product on underneath because I just wanted like a really light wash of this underneath my eyes. I'm going to be contouring my nose with none other than Crushed Walnut by Natural Collection and I'm going to be using the Ruby and Millie liner brush just to get the lines quite precise. And then again I'm blending that all in together with none other than my trusty and beloved Beauty Blender. Using Hoola by Benefit, I'm going to be contouring my cheeks and my face with the contour brush by Real Techniques. I'm going to be going in the hollows of my cheeks 
Also, I'm going to be adding it onto my forehead and a little bit on the sides of my nose. Just to give the slightest flush of colour, I'm going to be using Dolce Vita by NARS with my Japanese HD blush brush to add the slightest bit of colour onto my cheeks. You guys probably know that I love this colour because I kind of mention it in pretty much every other video of mine, but I do love it. It's gorgeous. To hide out my cheeks, I have used Dior's Amber Diamonds again. And I'm using this with the Real Techniques buffing brush just to make sure that it's like seamlessly added onto my face with no harsh lines. And I'm also adding this onto my T-zone, my cupid's bow and my chin. Now time for that gorgeous vampy lip that the girl was wearing. So I first of all started off by Rebel, which is a lipstick by MAC and it's a really beautiful plummy purple colour. Now because her lip was so dark, I actually added Diva by MAC on top just to intensify that colour. It's not as dark as I wanted it to be, but it's the two colours that I had that made kind of the similar shade to hers. For bottom lashes, I actually used my Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. I absolutely love this. It does wonders to my bottom lashes. Last but not least, I'm using my Pear Minerals 4-in-1 powder to set my foundation and just to make sure that I have no kind of shiny areas. And there you have it guys, this is my take on what the Big Girl wore to the Eye for Awards. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And please leave me comments and suggestions on any other Bollywood makeup looks that you'd like to see. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye! Yeah.